Hello there, my name is Willem and I'm going to show you a few cool tricks to trick your brain. And don't worry, this will not be a waste of time and otherwise this video has a 100% cashback guarantee. Welcome to Brains Applied. The first trick is one of my favorites. Now for this trick to really work you have to press the subscribe button and the notification bell. Haters will say it's fake, but believe me it's 100% true. After you've done that, put this video in full screen or put your phone in landscape mode in case you're watching on the phone. Keep your head at about 30 centimeters away from the screen. Now in case you're watching on a smaller screen like your phone, you might want to put your head even closer. Next, you want to close your right eye. For this trick, you only need your left eye. Now, in case you're a pirate with no left eye, you can turn around your screen 180 degrees and then you can close your left eye and use your right eye. While you keep your right eye closed and your face at about 30 centimeters from the screen, you have to focus on the cross that will now appear on the screen. While you are focusing at the cross on the screen, you will see a tiny red circle appear on the left. Keep focusing at the cross while the circle starts to move towards the cross. At a certain point you will notice that the circle disappears and reappears. And that's because your eye has a blind spot. I'm not messing around. At the point where the optic nerve and the blood vessels are leaving your eye, there are no photoreceptors, there are no receptors that can perceive any light. And that results in a blind spot, and this blind spot is called a scotoma. Now you might be wondering, why did I never see that blind spot? There is a very, very good reason for this. Your brain fills in the blind spot with the colors that are seen by the photoreceptors around the blind spot. For the second trick you need a friend, your girlfriend, your local priest or someone else who likes to be touched by you. You want them to close their eyes while they show you the palm of their hands. While they close their eyes you have to touch them with two fingers at the same time on the palm of their hand. And you want to put your fingers pretty close together, not too far apart but also not completely together. Something like this. After you touch them on the palm of their hand, you ask them with how many fingers did I touch you? If your friend is mentally stable, he will tell you you touched me with two fingers. Which is absolutely correct. Then you want to touch him on the back with two fingers not too far apart from each other. And again you ask him with how many fingers did I touch you? In most cases, he will now tell you that you touched him with only one finger. This happens because the touch receptors in our skin are not equally distributed. Our hands are very important and very sensitive because they need to do a lot of important stuff. Therefore, they have a lot of skin receptors. Our back, however, doesn't really do anything except for being our back. Therefore, it requires less receptors and is therefore also less accurate. To end this video, I want you to look at the screen and focus on the blinking red dot in the middle. As you are doing this, you will notice that after a while, the other yellow dots disappear. Our brain receives so much information per second that it has to filter out all the unnecessary stuff. As we are focusing on the blinking red dot, our brain starts to assume that the yellow dots are part of the background. And therefore, it simply filters them out. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.